there, I'm Christy Rachel, and I'm here in the Just Add Water Yoga Studio with a view. And I'm going to share with you today just a 15 minute movement practice to help invigorate the mind and the body. Uh, we call this an ebb and flow style practice. It will be a little sample, maybe 15 minutes to get your day started. Come to the top of your mat, feet hip distance apart and parallel. Relax the arms onto your back, palms facing forward, Tadasana. Pull some weight back into your heels. You'll feel there's a tone in your low belly and a slight drawing down of your tail. Eyes across to the horizon, wherever you're looking, whether on the wall or out the window. Take a nice long breath in and a full breath out. Let the hands come to greet at your heart. Close your eyes. Set an intention for your practice to move, to breathe, to ebb and flow. To move into one direction while simultaneously moving away from another. It is the idea that we are a yes whenever we are a no. We are a no when we become a yes. Release the arms. Open your eyes. Sweep your arms on your inhalation up. Pull your hips back and bow forward all the way down to the earth. Touch with the fingertips. Pull the chin into the chest. Lift halfway. Breathe in. Hands to shins or fingertips on the floor. Step back to plank. And lower to your belly. Knees up or down. Point the toes. Lift the heart. Cobra. Forward and down. Release. Tuck the toes. Up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take three variations of that vinyasa flow from here. Send your sitting bones to the sky, your down dog, your heels to the earth. Float forward, top of the push up. Let's lower the knees to modify the first one. Lower right to the belly like we did. Point the toes, lift the knees, lift the heart, cobra. Forward and down, exhale. Tuck the toes, press up and back, downward facing dog. Second round, modified up dog, high plank, breathe in. Lower the knees and exhale halfway down. Flip the feet, lift the knees, pull the heart forward, up dog. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Full vinyasa here, high plank, breathe in. Lower, breathe out. Rolling over the toes, up dog. Downward facing dog. Feel free to do any of those variations for the first three. Then sink your heels back and down. Bend the knees deep, bring your belly towards your thighs, look forward and step or hop, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Press to rise, come all the way up. And let's fold all the way through. Like a wave washing over you, lift halfway. And step back to plank. Lower halfway or all the way. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky, breathe in. Step forward to lunge, breathe out. Sweep up on the in breath. Hands to heart center on the out breath, open warrior two. Deep breath in, full breath out. Reach up and back, exalted or goddess warrior. Left hand can come to the thigh or reach around towards your right hip. Straighten the front leg, release the arms to triangle. Hinging up and forward, look back and then up. The front knee never locked, pressing the earth away, lifting the heart nice and high. Bend the front knee, look down, float back up, warrior two. Deep breath in, hands to the mat, downward facing dog. High plank, breathe in, lower halfway all the way, breathe out, up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. 
Bring the ribs to the thighs, bend the knees deep, look forward, step or float, top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Press to rise all the way up, and let's fold all the way through. Halfway lift. Step your right foot back to lunge, reach for the sky, breathe in. Hands to heart center, breathe out. Roll the back heel down, warrior two, settle in. Find that subtle ebb, rising. And flooding through all aspects to fingers to toes. Reach up and back, exalted warrior. Straighten the front leg, unravel the arms, reach forward, triangle. Look down, bend the knee, warrior two. Settle. Full breath in. Hands to the mat, downward dog, breathe out. Top of a push up, breathe in. Lower. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Belly to thighs, bend the knees, lift the heels, step or float, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Bow inward, breathe out. Press to rise, come all the way up, and let's flow all the way back through. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step that left foot back again, lunge, reach up. Tap the fingers open, warrior two, back in to where we were. This time, left hand to hip, eyes over your front fingertips, reach in that direction by bending deeply into the knee. Reach through the rib cage, fingertips towards the floor outside the pinky toe, or if you have a block, feel free to use it here as you drag your back foot up. Make sure the hand, either with or without the block, is under the shoulder and not under the hip. As your back leg comes up, slide your left arm down that outer thigh, roll your shoulder back. Now lift the left leg higher and higher, maybe reaching lower towards the earth. Full breath. Eventually reaching that upper arm to the sky, possibly transitioning your eyes in that direction. That's a lot more challenging, but if you're willing, Give it a go. Falling out is welcome. Falling back in is encouraged. As you bend your front knee, you will graciously land back, releasing the block to warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Spin your toes to parallel. Take a long breath in. Forward fold. Breathe out. Catch your big toes with two fingers. Seal the fingers with your thumb. Lift halfway. Breathe in. Elbows wide, shoulders back, breathe out. Give the head a yes nod, a no shake. Feel that rising tide of breath in and melting and flooding every aspect as you breathe out. One more. Hold the toes. Straighten the arms, lift halfway. Release the toes. Let's walk the hands to the right foot and come into a lizard position as you spin the back heel to lift. Front heel comes in. Left hand down on the floor on a block, turn open to the right. You have the option here to reach the arm to the sky and pick up the back foot. As you catch the foot, the foot really comes into the hand. We're not trying hard to reach the foot, but we're pulling that heel in while pushing out, expanding the chest, maybe bending the elbow, getting low into those hips. Release the foot, bring the hand around in front, reframe the front foot. Fingertips on either side, lift the back knee, step forward. Lift halfway. Bow it out. Then press to rise, come all the way up. And let's fold all the way through. Halfway 
belly lift in preparation. And step back, right foot, rise, back to warrior two, open up. This time, right hand to hip, reaching forward. So first reach through the hips, get low, then through the rib cage, side body, side waist. Reach to the outer pinky toe side, with or without the block. As the fingertips come down, the back leg lifts, but the standing leg is that root trunk system. Press through the left big toe, you can look at it. Right hand along your thigh, flexion your back foot, and lift that back heel. Eyes down for balance, maybe transitioning to the block underneath. Always thinking lighter, more lift. When you're ready, reach the arm. Perhaps trail the eyes in the direction of your upper hand. Breathe here. Gradually we'll bend the front knee, lighten the fingers, and land back to warrior two. Deep breath in, hands to the mat. We come into our lizard, back heel lifts, knee comes down. Front heel turns in, knee tracks with the toes. Right hand to the floor or a block, roll open. Stay right here, pulling your back knee forward, maybe lift the foot. As you look over the shoulder, reach back, catch the foot. Let the foot meet the hand. And then breathe the chest open. As you bring the hips into that surrender space. Each breath lifting and releasing, ebbing and flowing. Release the back foot, bring the hand around in front, reframe the front foot. We'll lift the back knee, step forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Bow inward, breathe out. Press to rise, come all the way up. And all the way down we flow. Let's open up these hips to finish. Lift halfway. Step your left foot back. Lower the knee. Option one, toe heel the right foot across and bring the right knee down. Half pigeon. Option two, lie onto your back and take thread the needle. Either way, you're in a beautiful space of opening up that hip for five breaths. If you're in the pigeon, we're gonna float this pigeon, lighten the fingers up on the inhale, stretching that left side hip. Exhale forward and down. Forehead caresses the floor, then inhale, roll the back of the ribs up. The chest up, the chin will follow. Exhale through. Inhale, roll. Two more. Stay light in the hands. Hands are there for stability and support, but should never bear the full weight. Unless it's really meant to, like a handstand or an arm balance. Even then, the whole body works together. And this last one, as you come down, bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the back toes, and as you press up, Slide that right foot back. Take a half vinyasa if you'd like, high, low, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Other side, left foot's going to step forward this time. You can bring it to lunge or right across to the other side. Bring the back knee down. If you're still on your back, switch legs. Hands are light, sit tall. Flowing forward. Inhale, roll open. Exhale, flood through. Three more. All of that rising breath and encourage the depth. On the last one here, as you come forward, bring the hands in front under the shoulders, 
And as you press up, slide back, downward dog. Last vinyasa, high plank, modify if you'd like, knees up or down to the belly. Cobra, lift, release, tuck, child's pose. here to release, gradually climbing your way back up to sitting on the heels or seated cross-legged, turn the palms open, letting the blood flow recirculate, cleansing the mind, breath clearing, when we move the body, we are mostly water, and like the ocean, the rivers, the lakes, we have still moments, and we have storms. We have underlying currents and shifts, always shifting and moving in many directions. Welcome every aspect of your movement, internal and external. Continuously bring yourself back to balance your hands to heart center, bow inward, namaste. I hope you enjoyed this short ebb and flow practice. Feel free to practice this every day and start to see the benefits of moving in many 